Hey guys, my name is Carolina and today I passed my driver's test. <laughs> okay, so I passed my driver's test today. That is what I'm going to be talking about. I am in a new background. I'm in my bedroom and um, I wanted to tell you guys how excited I am because I passed <laughs> my driver's test. Okay, and I am 28 kind of old to be getting my driver's license but it's never too late okay <laughs> and a lot of people that I know the majority of the people I know got their license way back when they were like 16 17 18 19 and I'm over here 28 <laughs> just learning how to drive and getting my driver's license and this is proof <laughs> okay so um, number of errors uh, were three. I only had three mistakes and um, yeah in my head I had like a bunch of things go wrong <laughs> but the man said I only had three. Anyways why did I wait so long to get my driver's license? I have no idea. This is a lot of little things. My mom doesn't have a driver's li her driver's license. Um, she doesn't drive, she doesn't own a car. My dad does, but um, he just always wanted me to get sessions with the driving school. So I always put it off, you know, one kid, two kids, three kids. It took the third to get a car, well, van, and then my driver's license. Um, a lot of people, especially like other moms of like in my family or friends that are moms, they always, they always like would tell me like, when you get a car, it'll be easier for you to like do things, go to school, go to the doctors, go to grocery stores, go to the laundry, because I don't have a laundry at home, right? But I just never did. I, I think it was mostly because I was scared I wouldn't be a good driver or that I wouldn't know how to be a good driver. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know, you can't knock it till you try it, girl. <laughs> but... 2020 a lot of I mean every year I'm like okay I'm gonna set aside time to get sessions and stuff like that if it wasn't financial you know because driving schools could be a little pricey <laughs> um, um, if it wasn't the financial it was the time or time right I didn't have time <laughs> um, so this year 2020 um, I decided and I was like okay a bunch of stuff has gone wrong let me get something out that's positive other than nursing school I've been passing so hey that's a good thing too right so um, I was like I'm gonna set out time to actually learn how to drive I'm going to learn the right way I'm gonna book some sessions with Abel's driving school shout out okay I'm gonna talk about Abel's driving school and my instructor in a second so I set some time out. I was like, okay, I'm only gonna get up the package of six hours and that will be good. I, I took that and um, it wasn't enough. So I got another packet of six hours. So I did 12 hours plus one more two hour session. And, and then the final day was uh, like 30 minute practice before the test, which was today. Oh, guys, 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 guys. I, <laughs> when I was, I think, 18 or 19, okay, before my boyfriend and I had kids, um, we would always drive around, and so one time, one night, uh, well, one evening, well, yeah, it was night, <laughs> my boyfriend and I went to Griffith Park, if you live in LA, you know what that is, okay, oh, you know where it is, okay, we went to Griffith Park, uh, but on the other side of the second entrance where the horses are okay if you know what I'm talking about you know okay okay so we went through that side and then we went all the way down to where no actually no it was right there where the horses are the parking lot was empty so he was like okay I'm gonna teach you how to drive at this point I had no I was 19 18 or 19 I don't know I had no clue I had my permit. I think I had my permit. Yeah, because I got I've I, I've kept getting my permit, but I never went 
through with getting my driver's license okay and I got my this was my fourth time getting my permit <laughs> and then my driver's license okay so he showed me and attempted <laughs> to show me how to drive <laughs> but he didn't really tell me how he just like okay get in the car and you know the driver's seat and go <laughs> I had no clue how to freaking <laughs> drive I thought that you drove like you know the ma the machine race car things you know at the laundry or I don't know the arcade game <laughs> you know how you drive and then like you're crazy and, sh and stuff um that's how I thought that you would drive a car oh my goodness what the heck was my mind so like <laughs> what <laughs> okay so I didn't know how to drive so immediately uh, he showed uh, well he would show me how to put it in drive and then instead of letting it smoothly go and then pressing the accelerator I would slam on the accelerator and like and then the brake and then I would just go like too fast and then to make the turns I would be like <laughs> and he got like you can see that he was nervous because you know it was his car and you know <laughs> I was gonna break it. I was gonna break his car. So he's like, you know, enough of this. Okay, no more, okay? So I remember that night. That was the first time ever. Okay, and so I never touched another car until like a few years after. He showed me how to drive again. And by this time, I had already like seen videos a little bit and then um, matured in like how you drive a car. So. Um, we were in the street, um, and I was kind of driving. It was pretty good. It was rusty, but I knew how to, like, let the, let go of the brake and then let the car go a little bit and then the accelerator just a little bit, okay? And, and then that was it. And then I, an a couple years <laughs> passed again. I had another kid <laughs> in nursing school and I never touched another car again. So I only had two experiences, very short experiences with l driving a car and you know that wasn't enough. So I booked some sessions so I can learn, okay? You're gonna learn. <laughs> so I did and I googled um, driving schools near me, <laughs> okay? And uh, there was a few and one of them was Abel's driving school. And so I clicked and I think that was the only driving school that I kind of looked at. I did look at another one that's on Crenshaw, but I didn't really like it. I don't know. It just didn't kind of suit me based on the pictures I saw and you know, okay. So I liked Abel's driving school because their website was neat. It was straightforward. Um, they had pictures and many people's reviews were very positive. So, I was like, okay, I got the money, I got the time, <laughs> well, I can make time, uh, let me book some sessions. And this was back in, I think my first session was in late, Ju late June or early July, something like that. Okay, so I got, my instructor was Derek. Derek from Abel's Driving School is the bomb okay he's a really good instructor okay so if you're considering getting a driving school or learning how to drive go to Abel's Driving School get yourself Derek as an instructor I did get one more his name I think was James I don't know I did learn other tips and advice from him too so shout out to James too <laughs> but Derek was he was my main I had him throw all my six, seven sessions. No, oh, six, because one of them was with James. Okay, so I had Derek, and we would have conversations in the car about like politics and what's going on in the news, and you know, multitasking while I'm driving. But he would give very good advice, and he would catch me on little mistakes or big mistakes that I would do. And, um, yeah, he's just a really good instructor, so book him <laughs> um, he gave me a lot of advice he was very patient very he knows what he's doing very calm 
So that made me calm, right? And then the way that he would react when I made a mistake wasn't so like, huh? So it doesn't worry me or I don't get into like a panic. Um, so I already told you guys I booked um, my sessions. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, so let me tell you more about Abel's Driving School. If you're in LA, <laughs> Abel's Driving School, okay? And so the way so my first session i called and i was like okay um i don't know how to drive um i need some sessions so this is the package that i want because they have a few packages there like uh, or like single two hours how much that cost a packet of like six hours how much that costs um so i was like um i need i was interested in the six hour one and yeah so then i called them and i paid over the phone um or you can pay uh, when your instructor picks you up you can pay right there and then uh, you just let them know that's the way you want to pay right and then when your session is over uh, they tell you oh book your next session um you know just to make sure that the instructor you want is available so don't book it last minute always book you know on time like right like after that session that you just finished or the next day that's how I typically would do it um, and I always got the instructor that I wanted or that I felt most comfortable with um, or you know because I didn't want to choose one instructor and then another because when you're learning with somebody the way that they're teaching you is different from another instructor so you don't want to get too confused um, I did have one other instructor his name was James um, his teaching methods are different, but it added to what I was learning with Derek. So that was a positive. Um, and the lady who picks up the phone <laughs> is very sweet and she's so patient. I like her voice. It's very like calming and like, oh, welcoming. <laughs> so every time that I would call, she would answer most of the time. And she would be, she would help me uh, figure out an availability, what time, and if there was any changes, like, on their part, they would let me know. And then, um, if you want, if I wanted to cancel, I would have to call, like, 24 hours before. If not, there's, like, a fee that you have to pay. So, I didn't want to get charged. So, I mean, there wasn't no cancellation that I ever did. So, I never got charged. But you know you gotta be considerate you can't just like bail last minute so be considerate call <laughs> sorry i took a little pause because my daughter is in school right now and i have to be like there but she had like a break so i came over here to talk to you guys really fast <laughs> um anyways um where was i eh. oh my goonies Anyways, Able Driving School helped me. Um, I had to book six sessions and then one more before my, like a few days before my driving test. Another thing, um, the lady who picks up the phone, well, the receptionist, I guess, from Able's Driving School, um, she helped me. Um, actually, after, before my second to last session, I called and I was like, okay, well, my sessions are finished, but I. I did want to book you guys for my driver's test so how can I do it right and um, she's like okay well oh my instructor had recommended another session of two hours a few days before my driver's test so I booked one more session a single session and I booked them for the day of the driver's test and so she went ahead and booked my session um, and then she also booked me for the DMV driver's test. She booked my appointment for the DMV and she booked the instructor for that day. And, and then she told me the price. It's pricey, but it's worth it. Yes, it's worth it. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so she booked everything for me. So it was easy on my part. I didn't have to go to DMV.com or .gov. And book my session they booked it for me they got me set okay so Derek picked me up uh, my appointment was at 820 so he picked me up at 720 an hour before my driver's test and uh, we went we went to the area where the DMV is I took my exam at Inglewood DMV and um, 
we went to the area and we kind of just drove around to get a little like last minute practice and it really helped a lot uh, and and then we went to park <laughs> I had never parked um, in a parking lot so I did that day and so we got in line there was so much people so many people in line and then because you can't be inside the DMV there's only a little bit a limited amount of people that can be inside so most of the people are outside in line so there's different lines and we got in a line that was really short but it took some time for them to like process us right so my instructor got off of the car with me after we parked and we went into the line and he had his papers but the lady was a little upset because I had to be holding them I don't know what the big fuss is if he holds them or I hold them but yeah um so he had his the papers of like the car the insurance I guess and like his driver's license and stuff uh verify you know all that stuff um which is easy. I don't have to worry about that because it's not a car that I'm personally using. Like, I'm using. It's not mine. So, it's the driver's school's car. So, they're responsible, right, for showing the proof of the car. And so, that was, like, less stress on me, right? So, um, you know, we showed the lady the papers. And then they gave me a sticker. And then they told me to wait. And then we were told to go inside. And I was going to get my papers right so when I came back out I had to go back to Derek to get the car and then me drive to the line where the driver's um, driving test is gonna be so I was so nervous I was sweating you know my pits were sweating and stuff <laughs> and I, I, I tried to stay calm I was calm but nervous oh I was driving right and so I got into the lane where the I had to be for the test and I was the next next up and he's like just wait for the man to call you like wave till you can go forward and he's gonna inspect the car he's gonna tell you where like the defroster is the emergency brake and the emergency hazard lights and the signals and brake and honk and stuff like that right okay so I kind of knew what to expect because of videos like this so I wasn't too nervous. I kind of knew what was going to happen. I just didn't know. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, everyone is nervous when you haven't experienced it. But when you see videos like this or like hear experiences like this, you kind of know like, okay, I might be asked this. So I kind of know in what flow. But be if you've never experienced it, you still have some, some, you know, nerves normally. So... He asked me all of that, and then um, he came in the car. He put like a little plastic thing on the on the seat on the floor. <laughs> he had his big old mask with like two things popping out of it. Uh, he was set. Okay, so he was cool. He's like, start whenever you're ready, and um, let's go. And then there was this, there was these two people like walking it like almost in the way. And he's like, just go around them. Um, I was really nervous, guys. I caught myself in all my little mistakes. He didn't... I guess they weren't so big that he... I don't know if he noticed or not, but... You know, when you're in your head, you think that everything you do is a mistake. So we went on, and I passed. <laughs> he... We did have, like, conversation. He told me about, like, his kids and stuff like that so it was really cool and i feel so relieved and so excited to finally have my driver's license because i can drive <laughs> i can go to the grocery store without walking although i like to walk i like to walk it's exercise and stuff like that but cars are necessary for emergencies and my boyfriend is always coming from like across town he lives like a couple he lives far and because we don't live together, he always has to come. And if there's an emergency, let's go to the emergency room. He has to come all the way and then go there. And then, you know, it's it's been tough on him too because he has to come from far all the time because I can't drive. So now that I have my car, I can take the kids to the doctor's office and not really have to book around his schedule because he's working and is busy. So uh, now I can pick him up. <laughs> 
<laughs> in my little minivan <laughs> and um, I'm just so excited guys now I have to get used to driving my minivan okay because I already drove it once and it feels different than the car I was practicing in so now I have to get used to that and um, now that I have my license I can do that right so I'm really excited Hopefully I can make a video one day of me going to school in my van. <laughs> you guys see me driving. <laughs> and I, I wasn't able to, you know, film any of my driving sessions. I wanted to so bad, but I was always so shy and nervous to let Derek know. Like, oh, can you film me? I don't know if that was allowed. I never even asked. I should have. Um, I should have asked if I could film at least a few clips. Um, but I did take a picture. I took a picture, he took a picture of me, like right after I passed, he took a picture of me, so uh, you'll probably see that in the thumbnail. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm so excited. That's another, that's a positive for me in 2020. I did something good in 2020, other than study for nursing school all day, every day. <laughs> um, but, oh my goodness, okay, okay. So I feel so accomplished right now, like, I don't know, the feeling is so like damn I did something I learned I did now I can do something else <laughs> you know um, and for many people I guess it's simple it's natural like driving comes naturally to them or they have family that teaches them and that's awesome um, I did wish I learned earlier but I'm glad I learned the way that I did and everything just fell into place and yeah go book yourself an instructor from Abel's Driving School, okay? <laughs> yeah, they're just so good. I'm very thankful for my instructor and Abel's Driving School for allowing me to pass my test. And uh, yeah, comment down below. Let me know your experiences. At what age did you get your driving driver's license? At what age did you get it? Okay, let me know. Am I old? Was I on time <laughs> am i good not too old let me know when you got your driver's license if you got it at 16 20 30 40 50 60 you let me know <laughs> okay i'm interested in knowing and thank you guys so much for watching if you watched until this point i wanted to share this accomplishment with you guys okay and yeah i'll see you in another video i know it wasn't nursing related but i have so many ideas i just been lacking the motivation to put them out so or even film so yeah bye see you next time <laughs>